case number 2 both numbers are negative numbers okay since both numbers are negative numbers so we need to represent uh, both numbers by using two complement and then the computation will perform as negative a plus with negative b okay so example we uh, perform the arithmetic of negative 3 minus 2 your expected result will be negative 5 so all values are negative values so uh, first you need to uh, think about the the bits or the range okay how many bits that you can represent okay so uh, same with the previous example so you need to uh, choose which value are the largest value and then uh, you co convert here yeah, the decimal number based on the largest value number okay so based on these three values negative three negative two and negative five so negative five is actually the largest value and then uh, so negative 5 uh, need to use uh, 4 bits so that's why uh, all value must be converted by using 4 bits you need to show the step okay, how you get negative 3 okay, in uh, 2 complement numbers same goes with negative 2 okay, uh, so what is the value of negative 2 in 2 complement numbers so in, in this step you must remember from previous lecture okay? so this is the step Okay, you find the positive representation and then you complement each bit and then you add one same goes with negative two so next step you need to perform the addition okay, uh, meaning that you need to compute by using this method okay negative a plus with negative b so this is negative three plus with negative two okay, so you, when you perform so you will get this result so one plus zero is one the carry in is zero so this is also 0 for the carry in. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. Okay, so there will be uh, extra value or the carry out value. Okay, so the carry out value you must uh, remove okay, for the carry out value. Okay, because you already use 4 bit. Okay, you only use 4 bit for the added value. That's why your result also must be in 4 bits so this is negative 5 so the last value here 1 okay, you will be removed you only take only 4 bits okay, 1 0 1 1 okay. so example 2 okay, negative 12 minus negative 5 so the result will be negative 17 so negative 17 requires 6 bits that's why you need to convert negative 12 negative 5 by using 6 bits Okay, so negative 12. Okay, uh, first step, you need to find the, post, the binary representation in 6 bit. Negative 5 also, you need to convert into 6 bit. Yeah. You need to use the same range of bits for all numbers. You cannot use different range. Okay, uh, so that is also the common mistake. Okay, maybe student for 12 will use 5 bits. 5 negative 5 you will use 4 bits okay uh, so that is totally wrong you need to use the same bit for all numbers okay when you decided to use 6 so all numbers must use 6 bit okay so this is the two complement for negative 12 and then this is the complement for negative 5 okay? so you add between both values so this is negative 12 so this is negative 5 okay your result will be negative 17. So you also have one carry out here. So you must remove your carry out value. Okay, so this is also only your answer, which is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, or equal to negative 17. You, you just leave your results okay, in binary representation. You doesn't have to prove okay, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 is equal to negative 7. No, you don't need to approve that. One. Okay, you don't, don't need to prove. Okay, you just leave your answer like this example. Okay, you just show negative twelve in binary, in representation of two complement, negative five in two complement, and then the operation. Okay, negative twelve plus with negative five. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is actually the example of uh, wrong process or incorrect. Uh, process and supposedly we use five bits to compute negative 12 minus 5 
Okay, the correct bits is actually six. Okay, but now I want to show you what if we are using less than six bits. Yeah? So the answer you will get positive result, which is you get this answer or equal to positive five. Okay, yeah? so uh, when you use five bits, meaning that negative twelve, you will convert by using five bits. So the first step binary also five bits. So your two complement value will have five bits. Same goes with negative five. Also, you start with 5 bits, the positive value, and then we, when you complement plus 1, so you will get the 2 complement for negative 5. So, this is negative 12, and then this is negative 5. Okay, so when you perform the addition, okay, uh, column by column, so 0 plus 1, so this is a carry in okay, 0, so this also the carry in is equal to 0, okay, and then this is also equal to 0, okay, and then this also equal to 0. And the last one is 1 plus 1. So 0, 1. Okay, 0, 1. You must remember what I told you earlier. If you are uh, using 5 bit from the start, the second number also using 5 bit. So your result also must be in 5 bits. If there is any carry out value for this example, you have 1 bit which is a carry out value. So you must remove the carry out value. So your answer is actually this one. Okay, start with bit zero, which is zero, one, 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 one. Okay, so zero, one, 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 one. When you convert into decimal, so this value is actually equal to positive fifteen. Why? Because the value is started with zero. When the value is started with zero, so how can you find the decimal value? And you just use calculator okay, by okay, find the decimal value for this binary. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so equal to positive 15. So this is actually totally wrong when you are using the incorrect range. So that's why range is the most important thing in the two complement arithmetic. So you need to use the correct range. How many bits? The bits, the number of bits. When because when you are using the the wrong range, you will get the wrong results. Yeah. So you must remember the the tips yeah, for this uh, operation. Case number three, uh, one uh, is a positive number, and then the other one is negative number. So for this case, the first value is positive, the second value is negative. So the positive number is unchanged, but for B, which is the negative number, you need to represent it in two complement form. So example, 3 minus 2. So your expected result will be positive 1. So based on this question, so the computation is actually uh, like this, eh? 3 plus with negative, sorry, negative 2. So we will get positive 1. So you need to represent uh, the value in two complement. Okay, for example, for 3, positive 3. So because the number is positive, so there are no steps. Okay, you just find the binary representation, which is uh, using 4 bits. Okay, why we are using 4 bits? Because between 3, 2 and 1, so 3 is the largest value. So 3 falls into 4 bits range. So that's why we, we need to use 4 bits. Uh, for the second value, which is negative 2, so you need to show the negative 2 operation, how you can get the 2 complement value, which is the 2 complement value for negative 2 is 1, 1, 1, 0. So this is the step. You need to show all the steps, how you can get the value. And uh, the last step, of course, you need to perform the addition. You can perform the addition. So this is uh, 3, and then this is negative 2. So your result will be positive 1. Yeah. So when you perform the addition, there will be the carry out. Yeah. So the carry out is actually you need to remove okay, because it's outside of the range. Okay. We only need 4 bits. So that's why any carry out, you just uh, remove. Okay. You just omit the value. So you just take only 4 bits. That's why you will get the correct results. Okay. Positive, right? Positive 1. So 0, 0, 0, 1 is equal to positive 1. Uh, so this one is in, uh, the correct. Uh, operations. Okay. So this is another example. Okay, compute 12 
minus 5. Okay, so this is actually uh, 12 plus with negative 5. So only negative 5, you need to show in two complement. Okay. How many bits? So in this case, you need to find the largest value. Yeah. So between this address and also the, the answer. So your, your answer is actually positive 7. Uh, so of course, 12 is actually the largest value. So 12 falls into 5 bits range. So that's why you need to use 5 bits range. So positive 12 in 5 bits. So this is the... Uh, binary, binary representation for positive 12. Negative 5 also you need to use 5 bits. Okay, meaning that the first step, which is uh, finding the binary representation for positive 5, you need to represent in 5 bits. So you will get this value for negative 5. Okay, and then you perform the operation of addition. So this is 12, this is negative 5, Okay, so you perform the addition between column by column and then uh, so this is 0, they carry in, so this is also 0, this is also 0, so this is 1. Okay, 1 plus 0 plus, z plus 1 is 0, 1. So the, this example also have the carry out, okay, the carry out value. So you need to omit the carry out value, you just take only 5 bits. Okay, so this is, will be your answer, only 5 bits. So you will get the correct result, which is positive seven. Okay. Uh, so this is how you perform the uh, process of uh, addition. Okay, between different uh, sign, positive and negative value. This is another example. Yeah, five minus twelve. Yeah. So five uh, is positive. Uh, in this case, is five. Plus, okay, plus, okay, with negative 12. Yeah, so, you will get negative 7. Uh, yeah, so, based on these three values, okay, which values are the largest value? Okay, 12 is the largest value. So, that's why you need to find the range for 12. Yeah, so, 5, 12, and 7. Okay, so 5, 12, and 7, so 12 is the largest value, so that's why you need to use 5 bits. So positive 5 in 5 bits, negative 12 also in 5 bits. Okay, so this is for negative 12. Okay, and then you perform the addition. Okay, when you perform the addition, so you will get the result. Okay, based on this, these results, okay, it shows you that the sign bit is bit 1. Okay. And this is correct because your answer must be in negative, okay, negative 7. So negative 7, the bit must start with bit 1. If you want to know the, 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 the value of decimal, you can uh, prove okay, this value. You need to change. Yeah? But in, uh, the, in the question, it's actually you does not have to prove. It doesn't need to show the proving part. Okay, but uh, for your own satisfaction, yeah, so you can prove, yeah, but there, there are no marks for that proving part. Okay? And our last case, actually the, a bit uh, same with the previous case. Okay, except for this one, uh, the first value is negative, the second value is positive. Yeah? So um, how we can perform this operation? Yeah? So example, negative 3 plus 2. Okay, so only negative 3 you need to represent by using 2 complement. And of course, you need to think about the, the range of bits. So in this case, uh, 3 is actually the largest number. So that's why you need to use 4 bits. Okay, so 4 bits. And then you perform the complement plus 1. So you'll get the value of negative 3. Positive 2 is uh, you just show the binary representation of positive 2. Okay, so this is the operation, so this is negative 3, and then this is 2, so your result will be negative 1. So um, another thing that you must uh, remember uh, for this 2 copy arithmetic is actually you need to uh, show your work uh, completely, Okay, meaning that you need to show uh, the value uh, of the 2 copy, okay, how you get the value of 2 copy for each decimal number. 
Okay, so how you get negative 3, so you need to show the value of negative 3. And then what is the value of positive 2? Okay, so you just put here. You need to label the value. Okay, so I, I will know which binary represent represented uh, which decimal value. Okay, so you need to show your work completely or clearly. Right, so this is how we perform the two complement uh, arithmetic. Yeah, so I hope you can get uh, the idea of uh, this uh, two complement arithmetic.